You mean you don't get satisfaction by watching every other homeschool mom's routine? <laughs> um, well, it's like the rite of passage for every YouTuber homeschool mom. I mean, come on, other homeschooler moms eat this stuff up. Okay, uh, I'll give it a go. Good morning. I'm waking up a little before 7 a.m. Got to do something with this mop, so I typically braid it loosely, not too tight. And splash a little bit of water on my face just to uh, wake me up and get me going nice and fresh in the morning. Who doesn't enjoy themselves a nice hot cup of tea on a cold winter morning? Uh, I sure do. So I got to heat up that water pour it in cut all right i'm going to let you see our morning but i don't really need to tell you everything i'm doing and why you know what <clears throat> everything i do in my home is going to look a little different than how you do things in your home and that's the beauty of home you mom get to cultivate a home that is beautifully unique to you so without further ado let's get back to the b-roll and as you are taking a look into what our morning looks like, let's just have a little chat. I'm a homeschool mom of three. Their ages are 14, 11, and 6. And we've been doing this learning at home thing for quite a few years now. It took me a good two years to gain my footing on educating my children at home. I do have a ton more confidence than when I first started out. But let's face it, uh, none of us truly have it all figured out. And that's most likely why we like watching how other homeschool moms do it. To gain reassurance that there are other moms out there similar to us. It can be a lonely journey, right? Some things I've learned through experience as I create a flow that works for my kids and I in the morning is to take those opportunities to walk in the freedom of our own home and our own schedule. Moms, I have freedom. You have that freedom too. We aren't tied to anyone else's schedules, anyone else's routines. I'm not running an institution, and you aren't either. We're raising our own beautifully unique children. I work to value my time with them above any beautifully curated morning routine. These real life moments during my mornings are the moments that will impact my children for years to come. Way more than those fancy morning baskets, that's for sure. They'll remember the time I took to talk about things that are important to them. They'll remember the times I took to step outside and walk alongside them as they played, daydreamed. In our home, we take time each morning to sit down together at the table and eat a fully prepared meal that my oldest daughter heads up. She's learning some basic life skills through this process. It's a way that she can gain confidence in the kitchen as I cheer her on. While we enjoyed her prepared breakfast at the table together, we like to read aloud together, discuss life, and listen to music. Now, moms, you may choose a totally different approach to your morning. And that's exactly what you should do. But remember to place value on those moments, these moments, that can easily become forgotten or belittled in the light of bookwork and curriculum pressures. I'm learning to truly focus on my kids more and less on any type of curriculum scope and sequence. After all, learning is individual, 
And I have a really hard time seeing my children's individuality if I'm constantly pressuring them to perform exactly like a predetermined manual or curriculum workbook is telling them to function. (sighs) We keep things slow around here. I am fully embracing that our schedule is our own and not governed by anyone else.